Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use the magic wand, and it's especially useful for if you're new to uh, Adobe Illustrator or if you have a selection or an artboard with a lot of very, very intricate uh, shapes on it and you want to be able to select a lot of things all at once. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've grabbed the uh, magic wand tool right here. You could hit Y or just click it there. And then presto. And now, if I just click on this, you'll see here that it doesn't really do too much. I, it, it doesn't give me any options other than to click. So if I click on this little red sphere or pink sphere, you're going to see that it selected this pink sphere and this pink ellipse. And why would it do that? That's the question. Same thing if I click on this one here, it selected this, again, ellipse, uh, this rounded ellipse, and this rectangle. So what you need to do, really, if you want to be able to use this correctly, is you actually need to double click on it. So in this case, when you open up the magic wand, you get a whole bunch of different options. In particular, stroke color, fill color, and stroke weight are the most frequently used. Uh, you can use these other ones, but they're not that common. So here, let's just start with stroke color. Let's actually start with fill color. So there we go. We've got our fill color as the selection. I'm going to click out. Now, I'm going to look at this one here, and I'm going to see that this is filled with like a, a dark blue. This one's filled with a dark blue, and this one's filled with a bluish purple, yet it's all been selected. The reason why is it sets the tolerance level. So there's the, um, you can set the tolerance. So if you want to be able to pull everything, and it has to be an exact match, you set the tolerance to zero. And now watch, when I click on this, the fill color has to be an exact match. It only selects these two. If I set the tolerance to 32, like I did in the last one, presto, it selects this one because it's pretty similar in color. Let's click out a fill color. Let's si select stroke color. This one here has just got one object with the pink stroke color, so there's that. I can select, uh, I don't know, let's select this one here. This one here has the stroke color of green, but the line here also has a stroke color of green. So there you go. This is how you use the magic wand tool.